Hi, this is Noel Kennedy here from RMD Quickform in Hong Kong and I'm standing on the site of the sludge treatment facility which is a project jointly being built by Veolia, a French company, Leighton's and John Holland who are both Australian. It is the first for first in Hong Kong of the, of the sort and probably the first in Asia. The facility itself will be powered by electricity that it generates from the site and it will also put more power back into the grid. Another first for Hong Kong, as you see behind you, is for RMB Quickform, is the use of the TrueLift system, a newly acquired system that has been previously used in the Middle East, but now in Hong Kong, for the very first time, we're using it on the administration building. This is a self-climbing formwork system, enabling the whole system to be incorporated into one, and safety being paramount with this JV, is the main reason why they chose RMD and the self-climbing system to be utilised on this building. Uh, my name is Andrew Watson, I'm the project director for Veolia Water Leighton John Holland joint venture. Uh, we are the EPC contractor for the construction of the sludge treatment facilities. We chose RMD quick form true lift jump form system to give us a, a standard of safety that we wanted to achieve on the project. We worked together with RMD to design the, the jump form uh, using methods that we were comfortable with. We also needed to complete the jump form design in order to complete the permanent works design for the, for the tower. Uh, so the, the permanent works was designed around the use of the jump form system. And we're confident it will complete in a time that meets our program. Here we are on the TrueLift system standing on the lower platform. As you can see, the platform will go around the perimeter of the whole building. As mentioned earlier, one of the main reasons for RMD Quickform being chosen for this job was the safety aspect. And as you can see, the platform is fully decked out. We have hand railing at 500mm centres together with a Unimesh product specifically bought for this project. It allows the workers to work 100% of the time in a very safe working environment. Down here, what we've also incorporated into our platform are some hinges to allow the platform to be fully decked out in its working condition but whilst it's being lifted the platforms can be flat back thereby ensuring that they don't touch the wall during lifting. What this also allow, uh, allows is that no debris can fall down whilst the workers are doing what they need to do prior to the lift. One of the major difficulties in this design was the numerous cores inside this core itself and most of which have big wide void openings thereby making it difficult to determine anchor positions for the climbing brackets. The other difficulty was the internal platforms themselves which required Megashore to span between the hanging positions enabling us to put the working deck on platform above. Due to the safety concerns of the contractor on this site and being able to access the top ties to put in and take out during and after concreting We've designed into this system an intermediate platform, thereby allowing the workers to stand there to safely, and hooked onto the top whaler, to safely access the ties for installation and removal. Behind me we have the concrete placing boom, behind which we have a generator which powers the system, and a control unit where all the hydraulics are operated from. In front of us, we even have a toilet and changing facilities for the workers. What we've also done is add some quite high tow boards and covers which are flaps enabling us to close where the rebar would normally protrude from and close any gaps thereby ensuring no potential dangers for workers or objects to fall down from this top platform which as you can see is fully decked out in plywood thereby creating a very safe working environment. As part of the same project, also for the administration building, we were requested to supply some safe perimeter access for the client once the building starts being built and the slabs are coming in. Behind me we have what's known as a safety screen system, which is made out of specially fabricated items together with some standard RMD components, which will bolt to the slabs. As the slabs progress, the screen will be lifted up with the slabs, thereby ensuring that the actual working deck and the two or three levels below that 
will be enclosed so that workers cannot accidentally fall out of the building as the building progresses. We've got some key staff from RMD Quickform that, that were with us at the beginning to, to design the system. They supervised the assembly of all of the jump form components before it was erected. After erection we've got a, a small crew to help us drive the jump form and to control all of the safe working methods. We've used jump forms on, on, on similar projects and, and uh, RMD quick form system is a, is a system that we're, we're happy to use. We, we think it'll give us the, the result that we're looking for. In conclusion, I'd just like to state that uh, Veolia, Leighton and John Holland are very happy with the system that we've given to them. Once it's up to the level it's at now, it would enable them to achieve their cycle time, their very ambitious cycle time of four to five days per pour. This system has been a vision of RMD Quickform for many years and fortunately we've been able to deliver that into the Asia Pacific region and hopefully inspire other contractors to be as courageous as we have been in bringing this system into the region and hopefully use it on many more high-rise projects not only in Hong Kong but also in the Asia Pacific region.